Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Momsen was right, and I'm back to casting for you. If you've wondered why my last uh, Dota 2 upload was uh, two days ago, the reason for that is that my internet connection sucks and I had to upload two, uh, really two um, of my Dark Souls Let's Plays, which are, um, let's say, five gigabytes, uh, well, each. And <clears throat> I, I simply want to give uh, my viewers the option to watch the stuff in high definition, but well, have to get a better internet connection. Oh well. Anyway, I'm going to cast a couple of games now. And I think I've already found a couple of interesting ones. Most of them will be, again, just around 50 minutes long. Let's see. Perhaps we're going to find some longer uh, games. Uh, but, okay, let's just get started. In this game, we have on the Radiant team uh, stuff, stuff, we have number, stuff, and stuff. And on the Dire Town, Nico Hard, stuff, Carry Hard, uh, stuff, and Game Boy. Nice. Carry, perhaps. They're talking about Carry from Team Sapphire. No idea. Basically, I'm not really sure how really to pronounce Sapphire. I always pronounce it like Sapphire. Oh well. Ah, this forward button is so nice. And yes. Let's do this. We have on the radiant side a uh, Vengeful Spirit, an Abaddon, uh, Invoker, um, um, a yeah, Terror Blade, or somebody's repicking or disconnecting or something. Yeah, there was a Death Prophet here. Yeah, somebody uh, repicked a Lina, Luna, sorry. No, Lina. <laughs> Lina, Luna, Lina. And somebody re picked again? No, uh, it's a switched. Oh, confusing me, people. You're confusing me. And that are uh, nice crowns. Okay. Crowns. Why not? Crown. Um, on the die side, we have right now no Shaker, Magnus, uh, Weaver, and Fudge. 30 seconds to uh, Interesting to see what kind of lanes they're going to do. Each team has a car uh, carrier, of course, a courier. Carriers uh, are never a problem <laughs> in cup games. Oh, nice. Abaddon is going top. Uh, get some observer wards from uh, Vengeful Spirit. Um, of course, in Vocal Goes Mad, that's his uh, natural environment. On, on the top lane, we have also a very good setup. We have Terror Blade and Vengeful Spirit. Nice. Wrenched with a hard stun. And in the jungle, we right up now have Lena. And Lena should play support and should go top together with Abaddon. And one of them basically can. Uh, decide who is going to farm, but uh, I mean, Abaddon is in the long run going to be a better semi carry. Um, somebody's pausing. Uh, Magnus, hang around the jungle. The soul ring recipe first. Talked about that a lot. Don't like it. Recipe do nothing. Another soul ring recipe. Okay, but we have a lot of wards. Um, this is not from the a normal damage. skill tier, so this could very well be a high skilled game. At the top line, we have a Weaver with uh, extremely strange cosmetics. People, what are you buying? Or finding? So, what is this going to be? Alina, of course, picked up the DD. And this is the worst gang ever. Like, just walking up to them and saying, Hi, hi, guys. Here we are. Three, three people. And it seems that um, Abaddon has to uh, fight off lane alone against Weaver. Which is, I mean, uh, on the one hand, um, Abaddon isn't going to die that easily because he has a Photic Shield. On the other hand, I mean, Weaver has no chance of, of dying here, it's, except some gun is going to, you know, uh, gank him. So, and, well, late game, Weaver is definitely the harder and the more important carry, so Weaver should have a nice game here. On the bot lane, lots of pushing is going on. Lots of pushing. Lina and Terror Blade are now a team, it seems, and uh, are very far forward, very close to the tower. Mm. In the mid lane, still Invoker versus Pudge, the usual duel. And it seems that Venture Spirit is doing the Mega Roam. Um, this is something you never should do, you know? Running over the whole map. If you really feel the need 
if you really think they need oh 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 the jungling doom is going to hit uh, hit <laughs> sorry to meet vengeful spirit and Venge puts down a sentry nice so no more uh camp spamming for you doom oh it's just something going to go off it always looked like it uh, that there is so nice Nice illusion from Terrorblade. Yes, is it going to be enough? Eh, come on. No, his uh, reflection skill. Ah, it's too long on cooldown. And Lita also lose pretty much every of, the, of her skills. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lina's hoping for a rune, but the rune is already gone. Or is, what is she doing? No, she was rune checking. Without boots. Oh, ho, ho. we have a patch with a haste rune, which is always bad. That's, uh, that's a hook. Oh, Lina misses her stun. That should be a dirt Lina. Yeah. Down she goes. First blood and both Magnus and Pudge say thank you for that. Okay, and Terrorblade was in his ultimate, uh, ultimate form. It's metamorphosis form, his range form. He gets a lot of bonus damage. He gets a lot of attack range from that one. Um, where is... Now Vengeful Spirit is top. And still is... No, uh, it's level 2 at least. Now things are, of course, getting a little bit more problematic for uh, Weaver. Should, because um, there you again have the biggest problem in history of pub games. That is, Vengeful Spirit is last hitting. Of course she is, because why should you support? Um, because the other guy is a support too. Um, yeah, yeah, but you're the better support, Venge. You have a hard stun, and Abaddon doesn't have a hard stun. So you shouldn't, you shouldn't farm. Um, you should harass Weaver. So Weaver still has uh, a too good a lay, uh, too good a time in his lane. Um, Doom still hanging around in the jungling, doing the slow jungling, uh, whatever. And he sucks at it. He has six last hits. Six last hits. What is going on? And he has only a south shield and an iron branch left. And he's walking around between camps very slowly. Jesus Christ. What is really aggressive, especially Lina, but she can be. She has still uh, stuff to region. Health, still clarities. I don't know, did she buy so many, that many clarities? Ooh, hoo, hoo. Butch got a double, double damage. Oh, he, he bottled it. He bottled it. Still, that's dangerous. Let's see last hits. Last hits tonight. We have Terrorblade at the top together with Weaver. See? Not present enough. But then we have. Invoker and Abaddon. Nice work by Abaddon. And at, down there is Magnus. Where is Magnus? Oh, it's another lane. Uh, again, this is not a good lane. I mean, two supports. And Lina also has... Oh, well, he is playing support. That is so nice to see. She really is denying. Has more denies than uh, last hits. Nice. That's good. And for whatever reason, Carrie is... Doing whatever she, he, she, it is stacking camps and devouring um, centaurs and uh, yeah, I don't know. This is very slow, very slow going. That's not a very effective way of jungling. Vengeful Spirit is walking. All the time she's walking. She has two last hits and she is level three. Oh, in she goes. That should help. Yeah, that should be a kill. Nice. Nice. She came exactly at the right moment, but still, it's not worth it, people. You can't just run around the whole map without boots. I mean, if you, for instance, are a very good roaming support, like, say, let's say, Sand King, then you can perhaps roam around two lanes. So you now and then visit the mid lane and most of the time stand around, stay around in the top lane and pull. Or something like that but you can't just run from the bottom to the top and vice versa you're losing so much XP and especially as a vent you need that uh, for your stun two stun one wave of terror one aura acceptable um, Abaddon is going for face boots it seems has his ring of Basilius on which is always bad because he doesn't really want to push the wave he wants to stay in farming shape. Um, Weaver now has a Ring of Health and Boots of Speed. I don't really know if I agree with the Ring of Health rush, but of course he's going to be harassed quite some, uh, um, quite a big amount. I mean, remember that uh, Mist Coil 
damages. Um, oh, oh, oh. Is, is he going to die? Is he going to die? Die. The numbers, the numbers are dead. Game Boy killed the numbers. Yes. Nice job. That if he, if Abaddon has up a Thotic shield, it absorbs the damage he takes from Mistcore. On the other hand, um, uh, Weaver is really one of the few heroes that can say, okay, um, I'm harassed, I'm going to stay in lane, so I skip boots for a moment and go for a Ring of Health. And he has a Ring of Health and a Magic Stick, so I, I highly doubt that Abaddon is going to kill him. And uh, he isn't going to be able to harass him as much as he would like to. But still, Abaddon is also getting a lot of last hits. A lot of last hits. Yeah. And uh, in, in a way, Weaver is really too, too straight. But on the other hand, look at this. Abaddon is a melee support. That means he has 1000 HP and Weaver is an agility carry. And he has 660 HP. Doom still... Uh, <laughs> he is now still mana burned for whatever uh, inane reason. And he has stacked a gigantic camp. The problem is, of course, how in 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 the world is he thinking that he can kill them all? I don't know. Okay, hey, Doom Punch. That should be a dead invoker. Dead numbers. Yes, and Magnus comes with him. Nice, nice roaming. What the idea of that uh, uh, Sunstrike was, I don't understand. You should have made yourself invisible, dude. Or something. But I, I guess they would have gone anyway. Okay, on the bot lane we still have Lena, still level 5, and uh, Terrible Lady 6. So he has Thunder. Ooh, Fudge kills Lena. Now things are getting dangerous. Oh god, is he going to get Terrible Blade 2? Is he? Oh no, no, Terrible Blade switches to health. Oh, but he isn't going to get him. Yeah, first shaker for the rescue. That was close. That was really close. Game Boy is really playing a nice game here. Really well. Really well. And he has used his magic wand. And I guess that is what has saved him. Okay. Yeah. Weaver is still too, too afraid of, of Abaddon. I mean, he does a lot of damage, but still. Um, what? <laughs> how did he... How did his ultimate activate down here? Earthshaker dies to Terrorblade, and there's more hunting going on. Yes. Ah, oh, Magnus. Magnus. Skewers away. Skewers away for great justice. Still, there's a lot of action. Is he going? No. No, the hook, hook doesn't connect. Fudge really would have wanted to uh, kill Terrorblade here. And Terrorblade doesn't have Thunder right now, so he can't swatch. Swat. Switch. 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 HP. Sorry. Game Boy back in the mid lane. Has tranquil boots. Hmm. Don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. Um, Doom is now in the mid lane. Mm, yeah. Well. Now we have three people in the mid lane. Uh, now Pudge is going to. Is he going to roam? I don't know. What is. Why is Doom going now? Okay. Doom thinks. I have boots now. I can. Oh god, is he, what is he doing? Airshaker dies, but still. Oh, there's a courier. Are they go? No, no, the hook misses. But still, the damage, the damage from Scorched Earth, that's a lot. Yeah, that, that's a double kill. The Scor the Scorched Earth does a lot of damage, and together with Rod and Hook. That's dead people. I see dead people, and they're on the Radiant side. Pudge activates a uh, illusion wound and lets, just lets the illusion standing there because. Oh, that was close. That would have been a dead invoker. Easily a dead invoker. Now, the illusions are on the hunt. Ooh, Terrorblade is doomed. He has to run. Terrorblade without his skills is nothing. Mm. Top tower is under but now, um, dooms were on off. Oh, the hook miss. So sad. But the ulti. So ulti. Oh, yes. Vengeful spirit goes down. Lena goes in, apparently it's think she's some kind of carry, but still, they get Pudge, nice, nice play, yeah, Avanon is bottom too, all the while, Weaver is top, and Weaver is also at the top of the uh, last hit list, so, right now he isn't uh, some kind of kill, uh, uh, kill monster, 
he isn't really coming to any kind of team fights. But still, he, oh, oh, is Doom going to do something? Is he in with... Oh, nice, nice. Now he has the right combination of skills. He has the Alpha Wolf. Uh, he has eaten the Alpha Wolf, so that's a 20% crit chance. And uh, Pack Leader's Aura, 30% bonus damage aura. And of course we have, because this is the series, we have a Rage, rage Quit. It's Invoker in this case. Yeah, didn't really have a nice game. Um, Pudge is killing Lina. Where's Pudge? Yeah, going to the top bot. I guess he wishes now that he would have not have Tranquil Boots, but perhaps Face Boots, because they're good for roaming. Give you extra damage. But... He's, of course, regening up really quickly. But on the other hand, let's be honest. Regening up is not that hard for a Pudge because you're buying a, a hood very, very soon. And you have a bottle. Um, Weaver is pressuring. He's, where's Pudge? Oh, he missed the hook. Yeah, the frustrated sound of Pudge missing a hook can be heard all over the lane. Uh, yeah, now he didn't miss a hook, but he hooked the creep. There's going quite some pushing on in the mid lane. In the mid lane. Yes. Four people are pushing from the Radiant. Pudge goes in. Hook. Yes, Lina is dead. Should be dead. Yes, she's dead. Earthshaker has the kill. Oh, nice RP, but are they going to get him? Yes, he goes down, but still, that is a massacre. Uh, on the other hand, Avanon's uh, uh, ultimate activates, but Pudge kills the main carry of the enemy team. Pudge kills Terrorblade, and Avanon dies too. Wow, that team fight definitely went for the uh, dire side. Wow, very good. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. And right now, uh, Doom has all the. What is he doing? Oh God, is he? Yeah, of course he is. He's, he's juggling, juggling with, uh, you know, Tornado. Um, now Doom has pretty much everything he needs. Oh, everybody's disconnecting. Let's talk about this. He has face boots, he has a stout shield, he has a bottle, and he has strong of endurance. That is for a uh, beginning, for Doom, it's a little bit late for all of this, but still, it's everything a Doom needs. He, mm, he has... Devourer and Scorched Urge uh, maxed out. He has the, the best uh, skills in the game. He really attack. wants the Pack Leader's Aura and Critical Strike. He said he should have had a Magic Stick or even a Wand, and now he would go Radiant's for some other item. Um, uh, yeah, some people like uh, Shadow Blade. I don't like it, basically. Okay, and down it goes. Why I'm not... Why, why did it put me here? Huh? What's going on? Yeah, no dire victory, but why am I watching these creeps creep around? Oh well. Let's do our post-game analysis as usual. Terror Blade um, bought a hand of Midas. Didn't even see that. Um, that is a problem because Terror Blade had a lane that was highly contested. A lot of action going on, and a wraith ban and a power threat is not going to cut it. So, I highly doubt if a hand of Midas was that good on the bot lane, but uh, I mean they won the game, right? No, they didn't win the game. Of course they didn't, because Invoker is connected. Um, Abaddon, well, has nothing, basically. Just has face boots and a ring of Basilius. His lane didn't work the well. And of course Invoker 2, face boots, magic one. He should have bought a ball, pretty much, and he should have tried to deny runes to uh, Pudge. Because a Pudge with runes, as you saw, is he got two haste runes and alone these two haste runes were devastating and together with the bottle regeneration he's so dangerous um lena had a bad bad time uh, at least she bought um, port scrolls i didn't see any other port scrolls in the inventory as you ran around not just oh i have to go uh, i have to go somewhere i'm going to buy some port scroll that's not how you do it you should have some and Ventful Spirit is a support. Um, did too much roaming at the start, but had some kind of assists and magic wand boots of speed. In her case, she had so little money, I would have kept uh, the magic wand at a magic stick and gone for some kind of other um, uh, item first. Perhaps even uh, mana boots. On the Dire, Earthshaker played a nice game, uh, died, but he also had kills and assists. 
Um, I never buy a soul ring on Earthshaker, except if you're fighting against somehow someone who can burn your mana because um, just mana boots are so good at him. And someone should buy mana boots because you're a support and the mana boots are not just there for your own entertainment, but for your team. So buy mana boots. Magnus, also soul ring, also don't like this and just boots mana, uh, boot soul ring. So uh, his game was one of the worst of all. Um, Doom had, um, I criticized him a lot, but at the and he had quite a nice set of items. And do you know why? Because he never died. And do you know why? Because he was in the Ghanem jungle most of the time. Um, but once he had his items set up, and these are perfectly valid uh, Doom items, he went out and helped his team. So he redeemed himself. Uh, Weaver had also an okay item build. I liked it, but he never showed up to a team fight, so he never got any kills. Um, uh, and when I say I like his item build, I want to say that I understand why getting a ring of health and a magic stick early is okay, but still, he has nothing and this isn't helping him a lot. So he should have boot, had boots at this time of the game. Yeah, not acceptable. And finally, Pudge uh, had the best game, killed a lot of people. Pudge is basically the main reason people rage quit. And when Pudge is successful, and that's how what Invoker did. He has a wand, he has strength of boots, I don't like it, but on uh, Pudge you definitely can work with them if you like to last it with <laughs> Rod. <laughs> he has a bottle and he bought a Blink Dagger. Some people really like Blink Daggers, if you don't know, there was a time when uh, Blink Dagger was never allowed on Pudge. It was simply disallowed because it was too... Um, too easy for him to destroy the game by pulling, uh, by hooking somebody into a place where he couldn't get out because that was because of the limitations of the Warcraft 3 engine. Now it's okay and everybody thought, oh god, all touches will buy Blink Daggers first or very early, but it isn't happening because if you really look down on it, his ulti is good, but it has you stand down there and channel something and uh, later in the game, you're not going to immediately kill somebody. So normally what you have to do is uh, hook somebody to yourself and use your ulti. And, but for getting around and for ganking, of course, uh, the blink dagger is invaluable. Um, on the other hand, if he hadn't had his tranquil boots, he should have had um, uh, either his hood right now or um, had worked a long way towards his hood because he would have needed the HP region. Oh well. Um, yeah, that's it basically. I'm going to cast another, another couple of games. That was very interesting. Um, my name is Momsen Was Right. Follow me on any kind of uh, shitty social networking service you like. And uh, thank you and goodbye.